What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And today we are checking out the brand new Tetra Rise X3 that was just dropped here in 2024 by HHA. Now in this video, I do want to talk about the differences of the X3 versus the original Rise that was dropped in 2023. And I also want to talk about the differences between the Tetra and the Tetra Max, or also known as the Tournament Pro version that is available on both of these sites. I get asked that question quite a bit, um, is, is it worth spending the extra money to get the Max or the Tournament Pro version over the, the standard Tetra? Uh, and then in addition to that, we will talk about the specs, the features, and then also the siting process with the X3 being that it is new here in 2024. So starting with the differences between the X3 and the original Rise that was dropped in 2023, um, obviously the biggest difference is the pin configuration. The X3 is a three pin horizontal where the original Rise was a double pin vertical. Now the other biggest difference that I noticed right away is the original Rise did have a toolless method on their windage adjustment, whereas the X3 you now have have to utilize an Allen wrench. Uh, and the reason that they went away from the wing nut that was on the original rise is because they needed to leave you guys room to be able to adjust your pins inside that scope housing. That's basically the difference between those two sites. Um, and again, I just wanted to highlight that just to make the purchasing decision a little bit easier for you if you're debating on which one of these you wanna go with. Now, when it comes to the Tetra versus the Tetra Max, or also known as the Tournament Pro, which is available on the X3 and the standard rise. The biggest difference is the ability to easily change out the roller wheel so you can shoot multiple arrow configurations throughout the year. If you're like me and you like running a super light arrow when you go to, to an attack event, then obviously the Max or the Tournament Pro is the site that you're gonna wanna get uh, because like I said, it makes that whole change out process very seamless. Um, you can have a dedicated calibration wheel and then you can also have a dedicated roller wheel that they also allow you to purchase additional wheels as an accessory through their website or at your local bow shop. Whereas the Tetra, you, you don't have the ability to change out the wheel. Um, so if you sight in an arrow and then you wanna change arrow configurations, you gotta peel the sight tape, add the calibration tape, get it dialed in, peel the calibration tape, and then re-add a sight tape. So obviously the Max makes that whole process a little bit more user-friendly and easier to change those arrow configurations. Now next, let's talk about the X3 and what's new here in 2024. As we already mentioned, this site is coming in with a three-pin horizontal, which is the first time HHA has actually put out a three-pin horizontal site. Um, so that is definitely a new offering uh, for HHA this year. Obviously with HHA sites, or I should say their top end sites, uh, you are going to have the ability to uh, micro adjust your second and third access, which is going to be critical if you're shooting uphill or downhill. Now, as far as like the windage goes, we already kind of briefly talked about it, but you do have two different windage settings. You have a major adjustment and then you have a, a, a micro adjustment. That major, you will have to utilize an Allen key. You'll be able to shift that scope housing left or right, which is nice because it gives you a very wide range of adjustment. Now, also you do have the the ability to micro adjust that windage, which is toolless, and it does give you a decent amount of range that you can roll out. The clicks on this adjustment are very nice. You know exactly when you're turning this. Now, when it comes to the pins in the scope housing, as I already mentioned, these are not micro adjustable. So you will have to crack those set screws and then slide them into place. Uh, but if you've shot horizontal sights before in the past, that's a process that you're pretty familiar with. Now, another thing that I like about the HHA site a lot actually, is the fact that they utilize this infinite adjust elevation rail and it makes it very easy to get your top pin dialed in. It also ensures that you're getting a zero stop on your site, which is also going to ensure that you're getting the most amount of arrow clearance on your setup. Uh, another thing that I really like about this, this infinite adjust elevation rail is that it has super tight tolerances. So anytime you make that adjustment, you don't have to go back and re-level out your second access, whereas like comparatively to a black gold. Anytime you shift that scope housing up or down, you do have to level out the site. So again, it just makes it a lot easier on the consumer. 
Now, when it comes to the mounting configuration, we've talked about this previously before on, on one of our first site videos that we did here in 2024. Uh, but what I like about HHA sites is they give you the ability to change out the mounting bracket. So you can go from a short dovetail to a long dovetail. You can go to a fixed mount or you can go to a Picatinny mount without having to purchase a brand new site. So that is a huge benefit. Definitely when you spend the money on a site, the last thing you wanna do is have to go out and buy another one if you decide to change bow manufacturers at a later date, especially if you really like the site. So having that ability to change that out for a relatively inexpensive cost is definitely a huge bonus. Now with the Rise X3, you will have the ability to add a light kit to the scope housing to adjust your pin fibers. They use this mechanical rheostat, which they've had for a long time now, and that's how you're gonna be able to dial in your pin brightness. So if you wanna uh, reduce the pin brightness, all you gotta do is basically turn that wheel close those fibers off and then if you want to add light you just go ahead and twist it pull it back out and then obviously it's going to expose those fibers and allow more light to come in now as far as the roller wheel that's another thing that I think HHA has always done really well. And this is gonna be the same on the Tetra and also the Tetra Max or the Tournament Pro, is it's a very fluid motion to get to top to bottom on your sight rail. You don't have to turn it multiple times. You can just do a quick turn. And like I said, you can basically make the full range of the sight tape. Now, one thing that I do wanna point out is obviously they do utilize this lock on the, the right side of the sight if you're a, a right-handed shooter. Now, if you shoot this sight and you're shooting multiple arrows at the same distance, you are gonna to wanna to lock this down because if not, this site will creep on you a little bit. Um, so just make sure that you guys are staying mindful of that. Now, being that this is a three pin horizontal sight, obviously they added this new bracket to the side, which is gonna give you three pin indicators. So as you roll down, you'll have three different yardage markers that you can reference. Now, another nice feature of the X3 is it is gonna give you the ability to change out to an aftermarket scope housing. So if you like running the smaller UV scope for attack setup, you'll have the ability to, or you could run the XL SE version, which is new through UltraView, also on this, on this site. Um, so like I said, it is nice that they give you the ability to choose and customize this. Now, when it comes to the siting process, it's gonna be very similar to the previous HHA sites. Uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is utilize the infinite adjust elevation rail to figure out where your 20 is at and then from there you're going to use your roller wheel to walk that top pin out to 60 yards now once you do that your calibration tape is going to give you a number which will correlate over to the sight tapes and what's nice about even the tetra and the tetra max pro is you are getting the longest sight tapes that are available on the market direct through a manufacturer they have sight tapes that go all the way out to 180 yards so depending on your bow setup you'll have super long sight tapes to achieve some of those really crazy long distances that you run into at attack event now once you get your sight tape picked out you're going to run this elevation elevation rail all the way back to the top or back to your zero stop. And then from there, you can go ahead and adjust your 30 and 40 yard pin. Again, that is not a micro adjustment. You'll have to crack those screws and slide those into place. But that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, but I do wanna point out, if you guys live in the Southeastern Michigan area and you guys wanna get your hands on the X3, uh, these are available at Sunrise Archery right now. They do have uh, the Tetra versions in stock. If you wanna order or do a custom order through Sunrise to get the max or, or pick out your pin configuration, if you want a 10 thousandths pin or a 19 thousandths pin, uh, they'll be able to help you out with that. But they do have them in stock. You can go there, you can get your hands on them, check them out and see if it's gonna be a site that you wanna purchase here in 2024. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, you know that you can leave me a comment below. You can always reach out to me directly on Instagram. I'm always happy to help. Uh, but if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Your guys' support greatly helps us out, keeps us doing what we're doing. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you on the next one.